Apple Pay is expanding to more stores. Watch stock about Koa the company has an earnings miss. And consumers are buying fewer PCs. Well, the stocks uh, did open slightly higher today as the Dow tries to make it six up days in a row. And soon, Starbucks, KFC, and Chili's will accept Apple Pay. It's rolling out the electronic payment service to many of those stores. By the end of this year, wider acceptance should give Apple Pay a much-needed boost. A lack of stores that accept it has been one reason it's been slow to take hold. Rhonda? Alcoa. Ouch. It reported earnings well below Wall Street estimates, falling aluminum prices Big part of the problem, the strong U.S. dollar also did not help. There's simply too much aluminum on the market right now because, of course, demand from China has weakened. Alcoa did say it thinks aluminum demand will pick up. It does see some strength in its other businesses. But this earnings report certainly makes clear why the company recently announced it's splitting into two separately publicly traded companies. And PC shipments across the globe fell almost 8% year-over-year during the third quarter. That's according to a report from research firm Gartner. The weaker demand was largely on the heels of the 10% jump in PC prices this year, a rise aimed at offsetting the headwinds from the strengthening U.S. dollar. Now, HP was the market leader in the U.S., while Lenovo showed the most growth with a 22% jump in shipments compared to Apple's 7% rise. Jane, back over to you with some other stories in the news this morning. Well, U.S. import prices barely moved. In September, we did see a slight decline. Oil prices rebounded, and the weak global economy appeared to moderate. Now, Fed Chief Janet Yellen does argue that import prices have been a major factor, keeping inflation well below the Fed's 2% uh, target. And also, a brewer S.A.B. Miller has announced a drastically accelerated cost-cutting plan following a $100 billion takeover approach by Anheuser-Busch InBev. Now, the company, which makes Grolsch and Peroni beers, has announced that it aims to make the annual savings of just over a billion dollars by 2020. The previous target was $500 million by 2018. Rhonda? Jane, remember to check in with The Street for news and analysis throughout the day. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.